You got two wubbies, huh? Give your wubbies kisses. <laughs> hubby, hubby. Hubby, hubby. There you go. This is her wubby from home. And then the dentist just gave her this wubby. Got a new wubby. Here with the dentist. Mm -hmm. You see the ball? Yeah. You jump? Uh-oh. You jumping? No. Oh, come here. Let me see your teeth. Just like that. I love you. Bye bye. all morning Sophia's appointment was at 5 50 in the morning so almost six o'clock in the morning um, I had to drop the girls off super early at my mom's house and when she got out of her surgery it was the saddest thing I've ever seen it reminded me just seeing her like little lifeless body laying there on the bed all in the fetal position it was so sad you guys it reminded me of when Shukri Marie had her eye surgery in Spokane um, we had to travel down to Spokane and she had double eye surgery in both of her eyes because she does have Brown's disease in her eyes and I remember when she woke up when they called me back to see her as she was waking up from anesthesia I just remember her lifeless body on the bed and that's like she was still under anesthetics and that's exactly how it was when i saw sophia this morning she was just laying there she was completely out of it um i got some of it on film for you guys but it was really sad seeing how helpless she was
after that, I went and picked up the girls from my mom's. We went and got some McDonald's breakfast. And then we came home. Me and Sophia took like a three hour nap. She was so groggy. She had um, like a lot of saliva with a little bit of blood mixed in it. And she was like gurgling and coughing up a lot of blood. So I just really um, was very tentative to her and all she wanted to do was cuddle and lay in bed and sleep so me and her took a really long nap and then the two big girls just um, stayed close by and like I let them know I'm gonna have to lay down with Sophia and it needs to be really quiet and stuff and they were so good they played really quietly together Shook and Layla so I'm very happy that everything turned out and we have new teeth guys we have new teeth Sophia looks like she looks like one of those celebrities that you don't see for a couple days or a couple weeks or a couple months and then all of a sudden they come back and they have a big old brand new grill of white fresh bright white teeth that's what she looks like um, I've been promising the girls um, for the past couple days that they can have some cake pops from Starbucks so we're in the Starbucks lane I am looking ridiculous um, when I went to the appointment this morning I did not take a shower this morning so I'm still unshowered we have ballet and tap in two hours so cake pops back home for ballet back home for dinner and then bedtime routine so I wanted to jump on and let you guys know that everything with Sophia's surgery went really well she's doing beautifully her teeth look really good they're just they're big I don't know if it's because it's I'm not used to seeing her have big bright white teeth like that or if they just really are big you guys will have to let me know in a little I'm using my gift card from my diet coach the diet that I was doing it just didn't work for me the program that I was on so I am starting a new program I will talk to you guys about the program that I was on that I was really excited about that did not work for me. Oh, that was nice. The person behind, the person, that's been happening to us a lot. The person in front of us paid for the girls' cake pops, so I paid to the person behind us. I want my pop. You want your cake pop? Is it good? Good. Nothing better than cake pops. What chocolate? Is it chocolate? Yum. Mmm. It's supposed to be cookie dough. Is it cookie dough inside there? Mm -hmm. I want to start getting some flowers planted for the front yard. Pretty. Ooh, those hanging ones are pretty and they're only 12 bucks. Cute. Just checked the mail. I love a new Costco book. Woohoo! The kids are outside playing in their pajamas. Sophia's starting to act like normal again. I'm sitting here with my goodie. The things we look forward to as stay-at-home moms. 
Is your cake pop good? Take a bite of your cake pop. Are you staring into space, honey? No. No, you're not. Take a bite of your cake pop. You don't want it? Go put it in the garbage. We got to get ready for ballet. They're gonna get ready for ballet. Let's go take showers and eat dinner. And then let's go to ballet. Okay, we're gonna jump in the shower, eat dinner, an early dinner, and then get the girls all dressed up and dolled up and cute for ballet, and then we're gonna head out to ballet. Say bye. Bye. Mm -hmm. Okay, now we're gonna go home, dinner, bedtime, and then it's my time all alone with you guys. Best time of the night when I'm all alone. Hey guys, it is the third day of this vlog. Sophia had her um, teeth appointment two days ago and then when we came home, she was just super groggy. She really needed me. She was very clingy and crying and whining. Her mouth hurt. She had blood coming out of her mouth all day. So um, I just didn't vlog the day of and um, yesterday. So skipped a couple of days, now we're back. Today is Saturday, Easter's tomorrow. We're gonna go and celebrate Easter today at my mom's. We're having a Easter egg hunt um, over there for the grandkids and I need to fill up some eggs. I need to blow up a balloon garland and I need to whip up some cake batter because you guys, my oven broke and I need to bake a cake to go to my mom's and bake it today for tomorrow. So we're celebrating Easter at my mom's today and then I'm celebrating Easter with friends at my house tomorrow and doing an easter egg hunt a big easter egg hunt for all the kids so we're gonna have two easter egg hunts one at my mom's and one over here so i have two cakes to make two balloon garland actually only one balloon garland to make i'll just use one balloon garland for both days i need to stuff goodie bags i need to stuff eggs so we're just doing all the things to get ready for easter come along with me i'm gonna throw on some music and hope you guys get inspired for next year's easter and grab some ideas for Easter for next year, 20. I'm wearing my cute Target dress that I showed you guys. So cute, I love it. I actually didn't go back, I didn't end up going back to the Target and getting a size small. I just figured this one's supposed to look flowy. It might look a little tiny bit big, but kind of gives me free people vibes and kind of loving the baggy look on it. So I just went ahead and kept it and this is what I'm wearing today. Have you guys ever seen these? packages of play-doh filled eggs these are genius they're like 4.99 for 10 of them yeah 10 eggs and they're all filled with play-doh i get these every single year for the kids i wake up 
Even though 
you guys with as many balloon garlands as we do parties and events and stuff at our house and at other people's Whoa. houses. This $22 balloon pump is amazing. It's electric and it'll save you your lungs, Lilla. your life, and your time. Um, I highly recommend this. Yeah. We've had it for oh, like two and a half, one. three years since Layla's first birthday. So definitely a yeah. great little cheap investment from Amazon. I will leave the link down below in the comments. I highly recommend this. Even for one birthday party, you guys, 22 bucks, can't beat it. Such a good deal. Good job. I have some fishing line. I don't know if you can see that, but I'm going to hook it onto something and then drape it down. gonna cry when you're gone So this is a super small balloon garland, but I'm just gonna use it for a couple of pictures today at my mom's house and tomorrow, but I think tomorrow I'll add more balloons to it. I really want to give you guys a really in-depth tutorial on how to make a great balloon garland. We're gonna make a couple of big, huge, extravagant ones in May for Sophia's second birthday, but I can always make a big, huge, extravagant one in April this month. Um, thank you, Shook. Just so you can see how to make one. I think I am going to go ahead. I get questions a lot um, over on my Instagram on how do I make my balloon garlands that you guys see in my stories. And I make them all. They're super easy. This one took less than five minutes to make. Oh, thank you. Um, in the beginning, I did one method where you just tie them all in doubles and then you double those doubles together. And that's one method. You don't need to use string or anything like that. And then there's another method. There's a whole bunch of methods, but the ones that I find that are easiest is when you tie the balloons in doubles and then you take those doubles and you tie those doubles together with the other doubles. That's what I did in the beginning. And then I finished it with a um, fishing line. So my best way, my easiest way, the most efficient way, the most time consuming, the most less time consuming way in my opinion is to do it with a fishing line. I think it's amazing. The fishing lines never break. They are so cheap and they're just perfect for balloon garlands. I'm definitely probably in the next couple of weeks gonna just do a huge balloon garland and make a tutorial on it for you guys because I do get quite a bit of questions 
over on my Instagram on how do I make them. And they're so easy and cheap. I feel like without a balloon garland at our parties, it doesn't, there's like, there's no party. A balloon garland will make any single little photo session or party or a, like a happy birthday. It just makes it more special. And I just, I love making balloon garlands and they're like the cheapest thing to make you guys. Okay, so we're on the road. We're all loaded up in the car. All three girls are in their cute little Easter dresses. They look so cute. I can't wait for you guys to see. We are sitting outside of a local grocery store called Yolks. I want to give you guys a little hack that I've learned over the years. Any local bakery should be able to make you cake rounds, which is just a round cake. And all it is is the cake mix baked with no frosting on it. And they're like $2, you guys. So I ordered three cake rounds to take to my mom's. You can also buy frosting at the bakeries. I brought my own frosting, the three already made cake rounds from the store, and then I'm gonna take it to my mom's and dress it up, frost it, put sprinkles on it, get it all looking all cute and festive, and I even have these really cute little Easter bunny ears that I'm gonna put on it, made out of um, those pipe cleaners. And it saves you so much time if you don't have the time to make the cake yourself. So, so many people always ask me about my cakes. Half of them are from the bakery, and I just frost them and sprinkle them and decorate them myself, and the other half, I do make them at home. But when you're in a time crunch like I am today, definitely take advantage of your store's bakery, call ahead of time, order the cake rounds, and they should be able to help you. Today, I'm doing the cake rounds from the store for the Easter dinner at my mom's house. Wait for mom! Wait for me! The whole thing like this. But now, okay, get that one. Beautiful. 
so pretty. Want to smell them? Mm. I <laughs> Want to smell? Smell good? You guys ready to go? Yeah. I already lost two tooth down here. Let's see. Show them you lost your other tooth today. She lost her second tooth today. Yeah. for today's vlog thank you so much for watching we're gonna continue to vlog here and tomorrow so make sure you're subscribed to our channel give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and we'll see you guys in the next one bye guys